Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to restore a website using a backup created in Plesk. Let's begin the tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. First of all, you have to log in into your Plesk panel. Here, we have used our demo account to show you how to log in into the control panel. Enter the username and password in their respective field and click on the login button. Congratulations! You are successfully logged in into your Plesk panel. Click on the Backup Manager located on the right side of the screen. Once you click on it, one dialog box will be opened with the name Backup Manager. In the web space, select the website name from the drop-down list which you want to restore from a backup. Here, we have selected DemoVPSTest.com as an example. After then click on the OK button to close the dialog box. By clicking on it, one new window will be opened with the name Backup Manager for DemoVPSTest.com. This is the website name which we want to restore from the backup. Here, you can see a list of the backup with the exact date and time which you have taken for your website. Select the backup date from which you want to restore your website. Here, we have selected March 9, 2020 backup to restore the demo website. Click on it. Once you click on it, one window will be open. In the details section, you can see backup related information such as creation date, when you have taken the backup. From the comments section, you can see the comment which you had entered during the backup process. Next is system notes. From here, you can see who has created this backup, customer or administrator user. What type of backup is this? Full or incremental? Next is backup size. From here, you can see the backup size of your backup file. Click on the download link if you want to download the backup file in your local system. Next section is backup content. In the backup contains options. You will get information on what type of contents are covered under a backup file. Next is what do you want to restore? If you want to restore specific items such as a single domain and all its associated objects, a single mail account, or even just a single individual file from the backup file then select selected objects. If you want to restore all data contained in the backup, then select all objects entire system. First, we will see the selected objects option. Here, we have already selected the selected objects option. In the type of object to restore option, select the specific items from the drop down list. If you want to restore individual websites with all associated objects and content, mail accounts, databases, and so on, then select sites. Select DNS zone if you want to restore DNS zone contents for individual domains. Select files of domains if you want to restore individual files. If you want to restore objects of different types, for example, a single mail account and two databases, you would need to run the restoration twice, once for the databases, and once for the mail account. Here, we have selected sites as an example. You will see a list of the websites here which is secured under a backup. Select the website which you want to restore. You can also type few letters of the website name in the search box, and the Plesk will find matches. If you want to select all the websites then click on the box just below of the available option. Here, we have selected all the websites as an example. After then click on the arrow sign button to move to the selected section. Once you click on it, 
The selected items will be moved to the selected section. Next is Restoration Options. Here, you have to select whether you want to restore both configuration and contents of the selected objects or only configuration of the selected objects. For example, if you want to restore a database, selecting the former option will restore the database and the associated database users, but not the tables or the data. If the backup file only contains the configuration but not the content, this option is unavailable. Here, we have selected configuration and contents of the selected objects as an example. Select the checkbox when the restoration is completed. Send a notification to if you want to be notified via email when the restoration is completed. Enter the email address in this field on which you want to receive a notification of the backup completion. Here, we have used nick at acuwebhosting.com as an example. Click on the Restore button to initiate the restore process. Let's see the second option All Objects Entire System. Select the option All Objects Entire System from the option What do you want to restore? Under Components to Restore, you can uncheck the checkboxes next to classes of objects which you don't want to restore. For example, when restoring a backup, if the Databases checkbox is selected, all databases and database users will be restored. If you clear the checkbox, none will be restored. Here, we have selected all the checkboxes as an example. In the Restoration Options. Select the checkbox when the restoration is completed. Send a notification to if you want to be notified via email when the restoration is completed. Enter the email address in this field on which you want to receive a notification of the backup completion. Here, we have used nick at acuwebhosting.com as an example. Click on the Restore button to initiate the restore process. Once you click on it, the restoration process will be started and it will take a few minutes to complete. It will also depend on the size of the restore file. Once it is completed, you will get a successful message on the screen below the Backup Manager option. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to restore a website using a backup created in Plesk. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.